Hello, hello, welcome everyone. And we are finally part three of the story of Strong by JC by Juana. I'm so excited to have you here a third week. Thank you again for allowing me to do this interview to get to know you more deeper and to know more about your brand. So today's episode and part three of your story is how did your brand come about? The name of your brand, the logo, what made you go for the type of apparel that you want your brand to represent? So go ahead, Juana, tell us. <laughs> hey, 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 everyone. Um, thank you for having me. Um, so I figured when I was thinking of my brand, um, I was thinking of what word would best describe me and the people that I want to be my customers, right? And I was like, after you've heard my story, everything I've endured, everything I've gone through, what word better than strong? Like, I didn't have a choice. I had to be strong. I had to make it happen. I had to do it. So I literally, it was going to be somehow the word strong anyways, because the other word was um, either survivor or strength. So it was all related. Mm -hmm. um, but strong by JC just flowed and I went with it. Love it. And what does the letter JC stand for? Those are my initials, Juana Caridad. Okay, so Caridad is your middle name. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. So tell me a little bit more about the logo. So it's Strong by JC, and I see that it's a heart and like a weight. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so as we touched um, briefly during COVID, I got a nutrition certificate and I bought a course to be a personal trainer because I wanted my brand to be all inclusive. I and mean, it's still something that I want for my brand in the future. It's just you have to, I have to focus in sections as to what I could get it done so it could actually happen. So the personal trainer has taken a backseat while I launch my clothing part of it. Um, but the, it's a strong because you know you're strong. I mean, it's a heart because you're you know your heart is your strongest muscle. Wow, that's and, deep. That's deep. Wow, wow. And the barbell, obviously, for the fitness, you know, is a fitness apparel. It's a personal training. It's nutrition. So it just felt like it all went together. So strong by JC comes from your story, your struggles as a young girl, teenager, adulthood, everything you endure. Strong was. A reborn, a rebirth of you, and you went the route for gym apparel, right? Why gym apparel and not, let's say, I don't know, casual, trendy? So, from my personal experience, I feel my best in gym clothes. I, if I could wear gym clothes to the office, to everywhere, that's what I would wear every day, all day. I feel strong. I feel like, like you know, when you go to the gym, you get that feeling like, yes, I did it. I don't go to the gym. I still get that feeling from wearing the clothes. Oh my god, I freaking 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 love it, love it, love it. And how long have you been working in this project? Um, I officially signed documents at the end of last year. Wow. Um, so my idea was to come into 2021 with it started. So I think it was December when I officially did the documents for it. Um. I started with a print on demand, which I still have, that does like my hoodies and a few t-shirts, tanks that I don't get from my vendor. Um, but the actual cl athletic clothes, I wanna say maybe two months. It hasn't been more than that. I started with one vendor in the summer, but it didn't work out. Then um, they launched um, a drop shipment program. So that's how I'm starting. So now I have a bunch of inventory stocked up. Mm -hmm. um and that worked out and literally it's in less than a month like i've done my website by myself not knowing how to make a website wow. um set up the drop shipment connected all the different things together so the drop ship goes smoothly yeah <laughs> oh my god let me tell you that's amazing not even a year and you've accomplished all of this in your brand that is amazing now is your athletic like two pieces one pieces a little bit of everything. So the stuff from the prints on demand is individual pieces. So if you buy the hoodie, you buy the t-shirt, whatever. Um, the sets are completely sets. Right now there's only a one one piece, which is a whole bodysuit. Nice. Everything else is a top and a bottom set. And that's how it's sold at the moment. I am working on being able to sell individual pieces just because sometimes you're smaller on the top than you are on the bottom or vice versa or sometimes you just really want the pants but you don't want the bra or you know so i'm working on having that option but today they're all sets nice and what colors represent your brand <sighs> so when i was researching 
colors that I wanted to represent my brand. First of all, my favorite color is purple. It's okay. that. So that had to be included. Nice. I wanted it to be extremely versatile. So I had to be black and white. Okay. So then I started researching what can I add? How do I make it? So I started looking at what different colors meant. And I went with, so I kept the white and black to keep it, you know, neutral. I kept the purple and I kept the, it's like a gray silver color. Mm -hmm. And it just symbolizes royalty, like, like prosperity, things like that. So I was like, that's what I want. Like, oh my God. If you learn something, you, I didn't even know that that is amazing so what plans like what other projects you have um coming for your brand if you don't mind sharing because i know sometimes we want to keep that secret and just do a nice launch like is anything else coming from your brand besides the gym apparel the hoodies i, I see you're wearing some sneakers there at your brand um i do have sneakers from the print on demand as well i'm still playing with that because um so you can't see my feet um and obviously you can't see me at all on the <laughs> podcast um but they're like the options right now are either low top or high top converse look like shoes mm -hmm. in white and black um ideally i would want more variety but right now that's what's available um maybe maybe in the future i i haven't honestly thought about that right now i'm working on a lookbook so that after we have a vendor event for empowering women in October. Um, and after that, I actually want to have like a sit down with some people that I know that do sales to show them my lookbook, to show them my stuff and see if they can connect me with like buyers at different stores. Oh my God. So my, my dream is there. It's big. It's I just, big and one. the connections and are there. I just need to make it happen. Now, if someone's hearing this and they've been wanting to launch their brand, what would you tell them? You know, like, what word of advice would you give them? Uh, at first, I'm going to tell you, just jump in. Like, you're never going to do it if you don't start. Mm -hmm. So even if, it's, if you do one thing a month, even if, like I said, I did my paperwork in December and I didn't actually start working with vendors until the summer and I didn't even start my website until like maybe a month or two ago. But had I not done that paperwork in December, nothing that I've done this year would have happened. Wow. So start whatever that first thing is, whether it's something as simple as logging into IRS and getting a free, that's right, free EIN number, um, whatever, whatever that first step is to like spark the fire and then the next step and the next step and the next step and it before you know it your vision will be a reality oh my god i love that before you know it your vision will be a reality love that now what struggles have you faced you know in launching your brand and what support have you gotten struggle definitely money <laughs> like if you know me and obviously if you've heard my story money is something like i struggle with in the sense that i have it and i spend it because i know i'm gonna have it again so like i know i get paid every week if i spend my paycheck this week i know next week i could just make up whatever i needed to do this week so not having a rainy day fund or not having a dream fund or whatever you want to call that you know but money set aside is definitely a struggle because had i had money saved i could have done so much more so much faster um and maybe certain things that i'm still trying to like figure out myself like marketing and ads I could just have you know hired an intern to you know a couple of hours and get it done so definitely money is the first thing but it's not a roadblock it's just a bump in the road yeah. like it's not the road is not closed there's just a bump and you have to keep going love it um as far as help I've had help in the sense of encouragement from of course you um, and a, a few other people i've had help in the sense that other people haven't let me give up on myself um but that's basically it like i'm gonna get help when i speak to the sales people and i ask them to make these connections for me that they will definitely do <laughs> but uh, i haven't like i've done it myself okay so this vision when did it come to like when did you start envisioning this? Like, I'm gonna have my brand one day. I'm going to have my brand. When? Through your whole childhood, teenagers, adulthood, when did this vision come? So, 
when I lived with my mom, if you guys know the story, you know, the mother that took me in, not my biological mom, her daughter used to model. Yes. Um, she's always been thin, slim, you know, tall. I've always been a little bit on the heavier side. Um, so I couldn't model, at least back then, there was no such thing as plus size kids models. <laughs> um, but um, I used to just, we couldn't go anywhere by ourselves, so I would have to go with her when she went. Um, her designer would just give me little pieces of like fabric and stuff, like different textures, different things, and paper and pencil. And, and then that's, I mean, that's when the idea got in my subconscious. <laughs> at that time, at that age, was it also athletic or it was just you um, putting things together? Actually, it, it was not athletic. It was fashion. It was wow. an even high-end fashion because he, this designer was like luxury fancy dresses so like that that's what i was around me so that's what i saw is that something that we can look forward to eventually in the future i mean anything is possible right Ooh, love that love that we'll leave that for people to be curious and see i'm gonna be looking to see if that's coming awesome so your brand is athletic represents strong royalty and you're gonna have all inclusive meaning nutrition and eventually also workout programs. Are you gonna create like a website where they could subscribe to your nutrition program and your workouts? So I haven't thought that far ahead. I don't know if I'm if I want to keep everything in just my regular website and just add an option for services and things like that, or if I want to have a whole. I I don't want to have a whole other website. Let me rephrase that. Because I want it to be all inclusive, a one place where you could get everything. Not that you go here for this and here for that. And I hate that. I don't like to do it personally, so I don't want it to do it to my customers. I love that. It's just a matter of how I'm going to incorporate it that I have to figure out. Now, in this, if you mentioned you having a vendor, is that your first vendor event as a business owner, as Strong by JC? It's my first event, yes. Are you nervous? Um. Yes and no. I feel like I'm comfortable enough, especially after putting my business out there with, you know, your um, help through your podcast. I feel like there are no unhidden questions, right? Like if you come and ask me about anything, it's already out there. So like, I'm going to be okay. I'm more nervous of like how it's going to flow or like Am I going to be put on the spot? I mean, I'm not part of the panel. I'm just a vendor, but <laughs> I don't think, since it's the first time, I don't know what to expect. Oh my God. I'll be there to support you. Don't worry. Don't worry. So what do you want to tell people um, about you? What else do you want to uh, you know, share about your brand? And is everything live right now on your website? Everything is live on the website currently. Um, again, as sets, I'm working on having it option to do it separately but right now all the sets are available and all the items from my print um all right, so prints. can you give us your website can you drop your website name absolutely it's strong by jc.com love it love it and what is your instagram um i have my personal one miss on the m-i-z-z -Z underscore juana or strong by jc oh my god love it love it thank you so much for sharing your story with us three episodes you made us cry. You have touched so many lives because the feedback I've gotten just from part one, I cannot wait until they hear part two and now part three. I'm excited. Is Definitely. there any message you want to say, anything encouraging, anything, anything out there to anyone, to all the listeners that we have right now? Um, just with the fact that I'm going to be 40 next month, just, it's never too late. Like I could have started this back when I was 15, 16 with my parents' help and whatever. It didn't happen that way and just because you have a bad childhood and just because you have crappy parents or no parents right because if you were like abandoned since a baby you don't even have that real relationship or that background it's again just a bump on the road not a road not a close road Love it. um so you can start whenever i mean there's designers and business owners that don't start until after they retire mm -hmm. and they become very successful yeah wow thank you so much juana for that stay tuned go check her brand she might be coming with some fashion i don't know that's what sparked the brand at first at, at a young age 
So thank you so much, Juana, for this. Make sure you go check out her Instagram, Strong by JC, and her website, strongbyjc.com, correct? Yes. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Make sure you share this on your stories. Tag us both when you listen to this podcast. And thank you, everyone, for the support.